What is up, fellow Elemental Overlords? It's Basil back with another rune guide for Season of Discovery. This one's actually going to be more of a two for one because at the end I'm going to kind of do a really quick one. Um, but the main goal of this one is to get the Fire Nova rune. Um, this replaces your Fire Nova totem with an ability that when you use it causes your current t fire totem to burst out like an AOE like your Fire Nova totem would. So if you're planning on doing any AOE grinding or anything like that, this will be helpful with just doing that AOE damage without having to use the totem. Now, let's go ahead and get straight into it. It's um, one of the more annoying ones, in all honesty. I kind of dislike this one even worse than the uh, Maelstrom Weapon Rune that I did a video on not long ago. But, uh, yeah. Let's get straight into it so we can show you how to do it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Desolus. And you're going to be looking for a mob called Flameseer Dublin, who is going to be uh, in a, it says tower, but it's more like just a little building. Um, he's going to have another caster mob in there with him. He is an elite, uh, and he... he when I tried to do it level appropriate, it was not exactly fun, but if you have some assistance, or if you're just really good at shaman, unlike me, it won't be that hard for you to do. What you're going to do is you're going to go here on the map, find this guy, and slay him. When he dies, he's going to drop a corrupted fire totem. Okay, now after you have your fire, uh, corrupted fire totem, you're going to head back to Orgrimmar to talk to Zor Lone Tree. Uh, for those of you who know, he's going to be the one that sends you to Stone Talon Mountains for a little breadcrumb quest. Um, but he's right next to the Shaman Trainers inside the Valley of Wisdom. Once you talk to him, he's going to send you to go pick up two tiers of Theradras. Now these tiers are the annoying part of this line. It is a lot of corpse running if you're doing it solo. If you have a group, awesome, you can probably do this, no big deal. But like I said, if you are solo, you will be corpse running quite a bit. I didn't know exact. I've never been good at uh, Maradon, like navigation. So it took me forever to figure this out. I'm not going to lie. I had to look at a couple little videos to figure out how to get to both of the wings. Uh, so once you go to the Maradon entrance, you're going to be looking for uh, large blue crystals. When I say large, they're not really large. They're about a third the size of the normal crystals that you're going to be seeing around the area and they are also going to be right next to these crystals so when you go to the purple wing this one is actually the difficult one that you're going to have to die in a certain spot and then respawn at a certain spot which i will be showing on screen here what you're going to want to do is die close enough to this crystal and once you get to this crystal then you respawn on top the mobs will still aggro to you but they will not be able to hit you but you are close enough to be able to interact with this all right so once you get your purple wing tier of theradros uh you're gonna have about two options here either you can die and corpse run all the way back over uh, which is not going to be very fun. Or you can go ahead and hearth back to town. If your town ta uh, hearth is not set to Desolus, then you're going to have to fly back. But, you know, it is what it is. I would suggest setting your hearth there in Desolus. Now, to get to the Orange Wing, it, it's a longer walk. But, that which means you're going to have to corpse run more. But once you get to it, it is much easier to get to. You don't have to respawn in a specific area. Uh, it's in more of an open area with no mobs directly around it. So it's not that difficult. Uh, what you're going to want to do is follow uh, like I do in the video here. And then when you get there, you're just going to respawn close enough to it. Which luckily for me, I, I died in a spot that potentially mobs could have aggroed to me. But I, I lucked out, I guess, and me was able to get to it. Um, walk up to it and right click. Boom, you have your second tier of Theradros. By this time, either your Hearthstone or your Astral Recall should be ready. And then, yeah, let's go on to the next part. Okay, now that we have our two tier of Theradros, we are going to return to Zor Lone Tree in the Valley of Wisdom. Uh, which, unfortunate, 
because now he's sending you to Archdruid Humo Rune Totem in the Elder Rise in Thunder Bluff. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and head over to the Elder Rise and talk to Mr. Archdruid Humo Rune Totem. And he's going to send us to Moonglade. Don't worry if you don't have the Moonglade flight path. Trust me, you're not a druid. It's probably not going to be something you have in the first place. Um, but he gets you access to the flight master and gives you an extra dialogue option that provides you a flight to Moonglade. Once you get to Moonglade, if you want the Moonglade flight path, get it while you're there. It will save you some time if you ever decide you need to go back. Now that we've gotten uh, to Moonglade, we're going to talk to Keeper Remulos at the shrine. Now, Wowhead says that he just straight up gives you the elemental salve. That is not true. Um, what he does is he tells you how to get the elemental salve. What you have to do is you go to this spot on the map right here. And then once you get there, you're going to see a crate right next to the bridge. You're going to right click this crate. And then after you right click this crate, you right click the item that it gives you in your inventory to create the salve. All right, so once you get the elemental salve, you are going to right click that in your inventory. It's going to create a cleansing item. Then you're going to right click this cleansing item and it's going to cleanse the corrupted fire totem inside your bag from the very first step where you killed the elite in Desilus. Once you do that, you are done. That gives you the, the rune. I know on Wowhead it says you have to equip it and hit a mob with rock biter weapon 20 times, 25 times. You don't have to do that anymore. Apparently they've hot fixed that to where once you cleanse that fire, corrupted fire totem, boom, you got your rune. It is all done. Um, the annoying part about this quest or yeah, this rune quest chain is just the the dying and then corpse running all the way back over and over again. It is not fun. Um, yeah. So Blizzard, listen to us on this one. Corpse running, not fun. Okay, and now for our second rune that I promised at the beginning of this video. It's going to be the rune of power surge. Uh, this one's much easier to get. And here we go on how to get it. You're going to go into the Arathi Highlands and you're going to go to this area on the map and start killing some Boulderfist Ogres. These are level 32 to 33 and they're not that hard to kill. I was over leveled for it and I was destroying them pretty quick, but you can do it appropriately leveled and be fine. Now, once you've killed enough of these, you're going to get an Ogre Lightning Rod. Uh, this is going to be the item that actually starts the ability to get this rune. So once you get your Ogre Lightning Rod, you're going to go to this area on the map and find the Batch of Soft Soil. You're going to use the Ogre Lightning Rod at the Batch of Soft Soil, and then a Lightning Rod is going to appear out in front of you. With this, you're going to have to hit this Lightning Rod approximately 20 times with a Lightning Bolt. Um, Wowhead says 10. I hit it more than 10 times before it finally spawns, so I'm just taking a rough guess between 10 and 20 times with a lightning bolt. I would suggest using your rank 1 so you don't oom yourself. Now, this will summon a level 37 elite Tom Carr. He will die on his own in 30 seconds, but if you're strong enough and you just really feel like killing him, go for it. If you are doing this under leveled, as long as you can keep yourself healed up for 30 seconds, you should be fine. He'll die on his own. You can loot him. Once you've looted him, you're going to have your rune of power, and that's going to give you your power search rune. Okay, now that we've got these last two runes in conjunction with my Maelstrom weapon guide that I did not long ago, this will wrap up all the belt slot runes for the shaman. So once we have all these, we're pretty much set for whatever we feel like we want to do. Uh, have not had a chance to test either one of Power Surge or Fire Nova out just yet. I got them. I uh, messed around with some Maelstrom some more because I'm really enjoying it. But for those of you that really want to do some AoE grinding, Fire Nova is probably going to be your thing. And for those of you that are just going to be casters, 
uh, the Power Surge is going to be fairly solid. It's going to help you regen your mana and get everything done there. So now that we've gotten both of these, if this guide has helped you out at all, please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think, anything I need to work on, anything that would help the channel out in any way, shape, or form, just let me know. And until next time, fellow Elemental Overlords, have a good one.